So today we are going to draw our penguin using pencil and black and white oil pastel. You're going to start with a small piece of paper and using, using the steps provided you are going to start by drawing a rounded triangle. And you want to make it big but leave room for feet and wings. So you want to make it pretty big. It almost looks like a smushed um, bowling pin. The next step is adding wings. So on either side, kind of in the middle, you add these kind of triangles. You can round them if you want. You can make them bigger or thinner. It's up to you. Then the next step is drawing two oval feet. You can make them look like the penguin is kicking or a little bit lower. It's up to you. Then once you're done with that, you're going to switch to oil pastels and you're going to color um, the bottom of your penguin. You're going to color the feet and you try to get all the white spots. And then you're going to color from the bottom of the wings all the way down. You're going to make a nice U like that or it kind of looks like a sideways C. And then you're going to color that in. Then you're going to color the top part of your penguin. And what you do, you do this same shape, but up here, kind of opposite. So you draw this kind of upside down U. And then you add a curve on either side, so it looks like this, a little bit of a curve on either side. Just like that. So it's almost a circle, but you just don't finish it. And then on the very top, you're going to draw an oval, and it's going to reach almost to the bottom of your circle, but not quite. And then I kind of connect them together so it looks more curved right up at the top like that. Once this is finished then you're going to switch to the white oil pastel and you're going to color everything. If you want to you can erase this pencil line so the wings look connected. That's fine. And then you're going to use oil pastel and color in everything. And it might seem silly to color in things that are already white but you'll soon see why we color in the paper with the white oil pastel. And you're <clears throat> paper might start to change colors. It might look a, start to um, be not so white, but that is okay if that happens. So you color. You want to get press hard and get a nice white all the way around, really close to the black. You can even have it touch, but you'll watch the colors will start to mix. So once you've got that done, then where the belly is, you're going to either take your finger or a paper towel and just kind of smear the black up into the white like this. Just kind of go up and down with your finger. Or if you want to stay a little um, neater, you can use a paper towel. And then I just kind of go back around like this, kind of smear as I go, just doing little circles or little waves. And if you notice it's not smearing as much, you just add more white on top of it. And then that'll start to smear a little bit more. So when you zoom out, now you've got this gray value that you've created with black and white. And once you've smeared it and you like how it looks, then you can be done. You would kind of decide how much smearing you want to do or not. It's up to you. So this is the only place where you're going to smear and then we'll add some eyes and a beak. So on the very top of the head where the white spots is using your black oil pastel you draw two nice eyes for your penguin and then where the black oval is that we drew earlier, you're going to draw two half circles. One that looks like this, and one that looks like this. So it looks like the beak of the penguin. 
And once that's all done, then you're going to cut out your penguin. And we will glue it to your colorful piece of paper that you made. And what you want to do is make sure that your penguin is below, the feet are below the horizon line. So when you put it down, it'll go like this. And then what you'll do either with your pencil or with the black oil pastel, you draw a little oval right next to it so it looks like a shadow. And you can put it right next to the foot or you can have it be a little bit farther off. So it looks like, now it looks like one foot is resting on the snow and then one foot is jumping. So after that's done, you're gonna glue it all together and there's your penguin portrait.